Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Submarines are called silent killers in water. They stay quite underwater undetected and perform surprise attack on enemy warships, submarines or even ground based targets using ballistic missiles. The biggest strength of a submarine is its ability to stay in water and remain undetected. But the problem with a diesel attack submarine is that it must resurface daily for oxygen required for fuel combustion. When the submarine comes onto surface, their likelihood of detection increases and they are vulnerable to attacks. The same problem is not there in nuclear powered submarines, but they are comparatively less stealthy than diesel electric submarines. A nuclear sub's reactor needs to constantly pump coolant which generates some amount of detectable noise. While nuclear powered submarines still dominate in submergence times and deep ocean performance, the small high tech diesel attack submarines are highly effective in coastal operation and pose a significant threat to less stealthy and less maneuverable nuclear submarines. The Air Independent Propulsion or AIP technology reduces the dependency of a diesel electric submarines on surface air. AIP gives a small tickle charge to constantly top up the submarine's battery but not enough to fully charge it up like diesel engines. However, it is enough to slow down the battery drain. With AIP fitted submarines, the charge in battery can last up to several days or weeks when compared to non-AIP based submarines where charge lasts only for 15 to 20 hours. A typical conventional power plant provides 3 megawatts maximum and an AIP stores around 10% of that. AIP does not normally provide the endurance or power to replace atmospheric dependent propulsion but allows longer submergence than a conventional propelled submarine. If we talk in technical terms, AIP is an electrolytic fuel cell that releases energy by combining hydrogen and oxygen with only water as a byproduct. These cells are highly efficient and do not have moving parts, which ensures a low acoustic signatures for submarines. Achieving yet another milestone, DRDU has developed an AIP system by providing the land-based prototype on 8th of March 2021. The plant was operated in endurance mode and max power mode as per user requirements. The DRDO's fuel cell based AIP system uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate electricity. The DRDO's fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. The 270 kilowatt fuel cell based AIP system will begin to be fitted on scorpion submarines. While there are different types of AIP system being pursued internationally, fuel cell based AIP of DRDO is unique as hydrogen is generated on board. The DRDO's AIP system will be retrofitted in six scorpion class submarines from 2024 to 25 onwards. The AIP will be retrofitted into existing submarine hulls by inserting an additional hull section. This retrofitting will be critical for Indian Navy because A. It will prove DRDU's land-based prototype of AIP in operational role. B. It will give confidence to Indian Navy to further use it in upcoming Project 75 I-Class submarines. At present, South Korea and Germany are only two countries with operational fuel cell based AIP. Germany has already pulled itself out of the Project 25i, leaving India virtually in a single vendor situation. Therefore, it becomes extremely important to mature the DRDO's AIP tech to remove the dependency on foreign OEMs. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector